Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to solve another radical equation. How about the square root of x plus 3 plus 2 equals 1? Well, let's try this. Step 1 says we have to isolate the radical. Well, here it is. But I have a plus 2 here, so I'm going to move the 2 over by subtracting it from both sides. Now, I'll have the square root of x plus 3 isolated on the left, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Now, that's taken care of. I'm going to square both sides of this equation so that I can eliminate the square root radical. Taking the square of a square root radical cancels it out, so I'm left with what's underneath, x plus 3. Over on the right side, negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Now, I'm going to solve this little equation. I'll subtract 3 from both sides. And so I'll have x equals negative 2. Now that's my hypothesis, that x equals negative 2, or that negative 2 is the solution of the equation. Now let's see. I'm going to check my answer because I, I don't really know when I'm going to get an extraneous answer. So let's go back into the original equation. The square root of negative 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 1. The square root of 1 plus 2 equals 1. 1 plus 2 equals 1. Uh, 3 equals 1. Not usually. Not ever. All right, this is false. That means that negative 2 is not the solution of my equation, and the only correct answer is no solution. Okay, I'll talk to you in a few minutes.